Yep, go on, roll on. Okay, again, hello, my name is Mr. Halstead, video production 20S. Um, this is the first instructional video for what some of the content we're going to be doing in the course. Uh, the first assignment, I went over it the other day, but I'll repeat it again today so we all have these instructions. It'll be all up on the class webpage, and then if you are from now on away on any days or you just need uh, something's unclear or you need uh, just to reference what the instructions were, we'll all have this video. It'll all be uh, on our web page and it won't have to hopefully repeat every single thing uh, three times or more. So if you go to our class web page, again, we are going to the links in our Edsby uh, class page. So again, Edsby is going to be used for communication purposes in this course. So when I need to message you, you need to message me. Um, there might be some general things that I need to post, but it's going to be, I'm going to use it more as a communication tool and a way to keep track of the assignments or the films that you've created as uh, complete or incomplete. Um, so the password, all one word, all lowercase, FRC business. So on our class webpage, I've posted a lot of uh, content today. So I'll just scroll down. So the stuff that we covered on the first day, or any day that we have any new content on here, I'll always, always post the new stuff on the top, and it just pushes everything down. So we talked about the essence of filmmaking is uh, storytelling. So when we have our first video, we are going to have, um, it's not necessarily going to be a film, but it's going to be more of a film recommendation. So, we have Adobe programs at home that anyone can download and we have access to and you're going to use your student account to log in. So this video here, when you watch it at home, you're going to be able to download the Creative Cloud. So think of the Creative Cloud as like your program manager. And when you download the program manager, from there you can access and download and install uh, Photoshop, Animate, Premiere Pro, etc. So that is for when you're at home. So what I would like you to do between now and when you're in class is to try this. There are going to be some students that just say, you know what, I don't have a computer that's going to be able to run this. I don't have a computer that is maybe our family computer, maybe it's a, it's a work computer for someone at home and they don't have access to downloading programs. But I need to know who has access to this at home and who doesn't. Just so that we can kind of figure out what is the best way for you to be able to have enough time to create uh, all the contents uh, and assignments for the course. So here, I'm not going to go through it because I've already created a video on that. Uh, but what is great about this, I've said this the other day, all of these programs are free for you to use. You can log into two different computers. When you go to log into the third computer, it'll pop up, there'll be a little pop up window, it'll say, uh, you're already logged into two computers, you'll have to sign out of one to sign into another one, okay? So don't share your school username and password with uh, family members or cousins or somebody who might be using it um, because they are able to track like uh, which computers have this software on it. Okay? Um, how to log into Adobe Creative Cloud here at school. So when you're here in the classroom, you're actually going to log into your Creative Cloud here and then you can open up the program Premiere Pro or After Effects, or whatever it is we're going to use, and then use your account here. Um, just because you can't open the program without actually signing into it. So that's why those instructions are on there as well. Each of our classes typically are separated into pre-production days, production days, or post-production days. I've given you a write-up here on what each of those days are, or what, uh, or I should say what those stages of the filmmaking process are. Essentially, pre-production is 
what are you going to do? What is your film going to be about? Have you figured out all the locations, the cast, the costume, the crew, everything that's involved in making a film? Production is making the film. Post-production is putting in your cool titles after, putting in your music, putting in your after effects or your uh, credits, anything that gets added after. Editing is in post-production, so you take possibly however many clips you have, edit them all together, and that's obviously what we're going to try and accomplish here in this class. What I'm going to try and get you to do is complete all your pre-production outside of class, and then some of your production will be outside of class, some of it will be in class, and then hopefully we can dedicate most of our time to post-production here. Again, the reason why we use Max in this lab is because uh, it'll handle the program, all the uh, file sizes that we're using. Um, so again, it's not expected that you have uh, machines at home that can run all this. If you do, that's bonus, that's great, but we want to do most of the post-production here. Okay. There is a video here on how to download some stuff. In this assignment, it will be your movie trailer, your film trailer. So the film that you're talking about, you're gonna be able to download that trailer, and then you're going to, in your post-production, you're gonna be able to cut between you talking about the film and the film itself. And while the film is, the film trailer is shown, your voice is being heard while we see whatever it is. In this example, I'm not gonna play it here, but this is, uh, uh, I can't remember what this uh, gentleman's name is, but he does film reviews, uh, shows, you could do a show if you wanted to as well for this assignment. Uh, so he does a review of films. He has tons of subscribers. Uh, he does this as a, as a job, so he gets paid for this. Um, so he does his film review. They're about 10 minutes. Uh, yours doesn't have to be that long. The instructions for what I would like you to do is here. So it'll start with you introducing yourself. Hi, my name is Mr. Halstead. The film I'd like to recommend or the film I reviewed today, or you're recommending the film so that I watch it. So you can review it and say, this is the reasons why I liked this particular movie. The other day I gave an example of, uh, it doesn't have to be your favorite movie, it doesn't have to be a movie that uh, could be something you've seen recently. Recently I've seen a movie called Ad Astra. Uh, I thought it was an interesting movie because it felt like it was a take on what is most likely to be um, the future in terms of space travel, not necessarily the way it's seen and depicted in a lot of uh, films or TV shows. This seems like it would be the closest thing to what we would actually see in possibly uh, our lifetimes, uh, probably in your lifetime for sure. But uh, I like that movie because of it was just unpredictable. There are films that are out there that uh, you can kind of guess what's going to happen from scene to scene, or you can kind of guess what the ending's going to be like. Uh, I don't prefer those types of movies, so uh, I really found this movie interesting, and I recommend that you watch it. Um, so that basically just has to be um, the length of what you're talking about. If you want to go on and then do a really in-depth review, uh, by all means, I'll watch it. Um, but the longer your film is, the more time it might take in post-production. So you want to keep that in mind. If you are able to do this stuff at home, you have obviously unlimited amount of time uh, to a certain degree. If you're doing it just here at the school, uh, obviously I don't want you to do an, uh, an hour review uh, on a, a TV show uh, because that will take up too much time. And we're going to move on to other things. So for your instructions, I'm not going to read through all of this because it is clearly here for you. Uh, I'm going to be posting some of these things in Google Drive, so it'll just be a Google Drive document, just because if I added all of this to our web page, I mean, as, as time goes on, I might have to uh, 
make multiple web pages for the class just to archive stuff or else we're going to have something that's very long. Uh, I also wanted it this way so that you could print it if you wanted to and then you've got something you can write on. Um, I'm not going to print copies and hand them out in case you don't want to use it this way. Um, but this is just to kind of guide your thinking. So everything I've said is in here, but when it comes to the film, introduce yourself. What are you going to say? What is the name of the film? Why are you recommending it? Um, is it a single story, one film, or a chapter in a series of stories? And so on. Who directed it? You know, you could talk about other things as well, but this is to help guide you. If you just answer all these questions in your film, um, that'll give you enough time to have uh, hopefully most of your trailer being shown. And again, it is going to look like, hello, my name is Mr. Alstead. I'd like to recommend the film Ad Astra. And then it's going to cut to the trailer. It's going to start showing clips of the actual movie. And then you're going to keep talking about, you know, the film had amazing cinematic, uh, really interesting uh, scenes. The cinematography was uh, fantastic, um, beautiful lighting. Um, you talk about all those things. And it is showing, so on the screen, that's where we'll see the trailer, but we'll hear your voice. We'll still hear some of the sounds from the trailer, but we'll just bring down the audio so that it is playing in the background. So the goal of this is we are going to use cameras, so some of the cameras in the room. We are going to learn how to use the software, edit this all together, and we're going to learn how to use uh, everything from uh, adding titles and credits to changing the audio. Uh, again, this is not for marks, this is all for learning, but to jump into it, we're learning a lot of different things, and that's where um, this project, the main goal is um, to get us started with that, because um, before we edit something, we got to film something, or download something that we can chop up. Your, your trailer doesn't have to play from beginning to end. If you want, you can cut up the trailer as well. The only thing I ask is that if the trailer's on the screen, that your voice is talking pretty much the whole time. I don't want you saying, this movie's great, it's got a lot of explosions, enjoy. And then it shows three minutes of a trailer for um, Fast and Furious. Or okay? So in class, I am walking around assisting you uh, with your ideas, with the software, uh, I'll do like a camera, type of uh, video as well, but uh, the main goal today is to pick your film and then start writing your script for it. So in class today we're going to do a pre-production. As we go on in the course, you'll understand what you need to do for pre-production and you'll do that outside of class. Okay? Uh, thanks for watching.